So yeah, I'm excited. This is so much fun. <laughs> this red sauce is everything. Nom nom. Hey guys, it's Charlie. It's a beautiful day. Today I am on day two of my Vietnamese diet. For breakfast, which is really my lunch, my first meal is usually around 12, usually 12, 12.30. For lunch, I ate the school's meal and today is Meatless Monday, so we had a lot of really good things on the menu. And now I'm going to have some leftover food from Loving Hut, which is a vegetarian restaurant here. It's pretty popular. They have vegetarian restaurants in Korea and many other countries. You probably have a Loving Hut in your country. I don't know. Maybe look it up and see. You might. These are all vegetarian um, things, and I know they might look like meat. Like this is some type of, I don't know what this is, but or what it's supposed to kind of imitate, but it's some type of like fake meat thing. <laughs> This is gonna get really bad really quickly. This is a fried mushroom. It's like battered and fried. It's so good. And you dip it in this red sauce. Um, I have some vegetables with mushrooms. These are like green veggies. And I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, but it's like a little, kind of like a patty thing. But yeah, take a quick look. I can't forget to show you guys my bang bao. This is one of my favorite things. I have a lot of favorite things. <laughs> so it's just like a steamed bun and in the center it has some glass noodles, carrots, mushrooms, and maybe some other vegetables. But it's very good and I like to dip it in soy sauce. It's not how it's eaten here, but I like it with soy sauce. Mmm. Have you guys seen these kind of mushrooms before? They're kind of interesting, you know? The back is like this. It reminds me a little bit of an elephant's ear. And I have some scrambled tofu here. I know this meal doesn't look very appetizing, but it's actually pretty good. This fake meat that looks like, I don't know what, tastes kind of like a sausage. It's good. With some rice. Mm-hmm. Time to dip my breaded and fried mushroom into this. It is so good. This sauce, oh my goodness, you guys. This red sauce is everything. Vietnam has so many different types of mushrooms, so that's one of the great things about living here is you can find oh, like a plethora of new ways to cook things. And I never really thought about frying and breading mushrooms, but it's delicious. And it's a specific type that they use. My taste buds are awakened. You can kind of see the mushroom right here. It looks kind of like chicken. I don't know. Maybe like a dark chicken. <laughs> Not like a white chicken. Does that make any sense? I don't eat meat, guys. I don't know what I'm saying. This ball is packed with flavor. I have no idea what it is. But it's like a fried kind of like ball stuffed with just vegetables and <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I have no idea guys some of these like you know faux products from vegetarian restaurants you just don't know what they are but they're delicious and that's all I'm gonna say whatever it is the taste and the smell reminds me of like a spicy chicken I don't remember what it was from from like my childhood I don't know if it's like church's chicken or I don't know it smells good and it tastes good I guess that's all that matters <laughs> this is how much I ate I couldn't finish it I'm pretty satisfied Supermarket. This 
to Susu. Showed you guys that yesterday. Jackfruit. Lots of jackfruit. So you have to weigh your things at the weighing station before you go into the line. This weighing station is in the fruit and vegetable aisle or section. And before you go over to the lines, you have to get some of the items weighed. This watermelon is like about $1.50. And I hate when they use these plastic bags. She could have just put the sticker on the watermelon, but they bag it and then put the sticker on. A waste of plastic. I brought my own bags to use instead of the shopping bags. We have some cilantro, green vegetables, I don't know what that's called, and some susu, oranges, limes, and <laughs> corn. I'm gonna get some passion fruit. They're very sour and I love it. Do you know what this is called? Oh, duh. See him? Yeah. What color is inside? Oh, I see it. Interesting. You have to let it dry. Really? Ooh, maybe I should buy one for the end of the week. <laughs> Just to try it. Yeah, I'll try this big one. I really hate doing this, but for my one fruit, I have to use a bag. I haven't been coming much to Big C as much as I used to, but I probably should look into some more sustainable, like reusable, kind of like plastic bags, but not those mesh kind, I don't think. I don't know if that would work here. I don't know if they would allow me to do that, but you know, certain countries are particular in their standards at the supermarket, and I don't know if they would allow me to use that, but maybe I can try that. I don't know, but I definitely need to try something. These are like yellow cantaloupes. I've never seen them before. Oh yeah? Yeah. I like them. They're good, they look good. They're so yellow. They have huge bags of candy and like buckets of candy that you can weigh. One of my favorites is this one. It's chocolate with vanilla and it has some little um, like kind of like cracker balls. <laughs> so much candy. I'm excited. I'm gonna buy some candy. This is like Vietnamese stuff. This is a coconut one. I'll try two of those. This one is, oh, this is, um, what do you call it? I can't remember what you call it, but it's the purple thing. <laughs> These are mango, like kind of gummy. These are really good actually. I'll get a few of those. <laughs> they have smaller bags for the candy, I just realized. <laughs> yeah. I've tried some Vietnamese chocolates, but I haven't been a fan, so I'm gonna try some different ones. These have hazelnut in them, so, I mean, I hope they don't fail on that. <laughs> Please don't disappoint me. Woohoo! Dun da da da! My favorites! Nom nom! Nom nom! I'm such a old Vietnamese lady. <laughs> All of my favorites. 
Nam Nam The little girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is the vegetarian section. This is the fish cake. It's actually really good. If you come to Big C, definitely try this. It's in the frozen section. And it's like a fish cake that tastes very delicious. If you eat it with rice. Oh yeah, like you can eat it with a, in, in a sandwich, yeah, find me. Lots of frozen things. Well, I guess it's not a lot, but it's it's nice. Like they have some options here. This is a different type of, um, kind of like a spring roll, but it's made of a different paper. And this is for hot pot. Some vegetables for hot pot. Spent less than $20 on all of uh, the groceries. Mostly greens and this is one of those moments where I cannot have <laughs> this food. This is Annie's food. It's a salad with these chicken nuggets. They're um, Morning Star. Um, I don't know if these are, are these the buffalo wings or are they? Buffalo wings. Okay, because I got some that are buffalo and some that are regular. Um, so yeah, these are from the US, these chicken nuggets. And I can't have them. So enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> One thing is I'm not deprived. Like I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I can't do this because I'm not like restricting calories or um, trying to eat super healthy. As long as it's Vietnamese, I'm eating it. So um, I picked up some Vietnamese candy and maybe in a few days when I'm feeling like having candy, right now I don't feel like having candy, um, I will do a Vietnamese candy taste test. I'm cleaning my apartment because it's a huge mess as you can see in the background and I was cleaning out my fridge a little bit and I saw this beer and I'm gonna drink it because it's Vietnamese. It's Chuk Bak beer and it was made in, it started in Chuk Bak where, Chuk Bak, I can never say that word. Chuk Bak. Is that better? Mm. <laughs> um, this is where we stayed when we first moved to Vietnam and it's one of my favorite places i'd say like if i were to live somewhere i think it's like a cute little place like it's kind of cozy and i don't know it's cute <laughs> you used to live there. i used to live there yeah and my airbnb is there so cheers it's uh vietnamese so let's do this it's like AMS asmr <laughs> good this is actually one of my favorite i think this is my favorite vietnamese beer so yeah i'm excited this is so much fun <laughs> i think it's more fun because i know i can only have vietnamese things and i suddenly found this and i was like it's vietnamese i'm gonna have a beer <laughs> mm. this is exciting okay cheers let me know if you're drinking with me <laughs> if you're having some juice or something i don't know um yeah I decided to put on my ankle and arm weights while I'm cleaning because it's exercise too. 